Before I even got to meet Stephen and just said, what if trap streets are real? And the doctor finds out that trap streets are real. And that was, went from there really. And Stephen heard about the idea and liked the idea. So well, what I got was, it's, it's an interesting one, this because this is almost the only time this has happened. So huge congratulations to Sarah for that. <laughs> is uh, usually we go to people and get pictures from and so on. Uh, and I don't, uh, and I'm usually in the room, but what uh, we've been, we've been casting, I'm trying to find you know, new writers for the show, as we're always doing. And I got sent a bunch of ideas, uh, you know, written up ideas, uh, including Sarah. Uh, and I remember just stopping on that one, on Trap Street. I mean, I'm sure every Doctor Who fan here gets that Trap Streets should be in Doctor Who. That's an idea that belongs to Doctor Who instantly. So just thought, well, this one, we're just going to make this one. This is, this is brilliant. I was very, very excited about it. I phoned up immediately and said, we've got, to, we've got to start this. And I remember the time there wasn't a slot for it. There wasn't, we didn't actually have a space. Um, and I eventually I sort of crowbarred one in to make a, to make a space for Trap Street because I, I loved it so much. But it was, uh, and it was fun because it was it's a brand new writer I'd never met before, which is it's quite rare. And getting, uh, uh, I remember at one point, because you, you went through the mill on storylines, didn't you? And I, and I hate writing storylines, and I hate reading them too. So I, I remember just saying, look, can we just get to, to write the first 20 pages? Come on, just, just start. And she sent me uh, the first 20 pages, it was 27 pages, something like that, wasn't it? And I remember just thinking, right there, there it is, this is great, this is fantastic. I reading on the train, I was laughing out loud, and I was thinking, this is, every scene ends in a cliffhanger, I mean, we've got a live one here. And I remember just saying, oh, we're going to make this, we're going to make it, just get it, we just, you know. You know, write some more pages and send it in, which is, by the way, if you feel bad about that, I write all my scripts that way. It was alarming to me because I'm the kind of person who wants to know exactly what happens on the last page before I yeah. start on page one. And Stephen was like, no, you don't need to know the ending, just start, just go, just give me 20 pages, go, yeah. go. So I was like, obviously, um, it was more Riggsy's story and there's a, a character that you will meet uh, in the episode that is still in the episode. Um, and there was a little bit more their story as well. Um, and now I, th I think because it's part of the arc, mm. it's about a Shilda's relationship um, mm. to the Doctor and Clara. Uh, and it's about Clara because it's Clara's last season. Um, yeah. yeah. It's hard to remember, isn't it? But it's, I mean, going, I'm just trying to recreate the original draft in my head. I mean, it's big for big, it's pretty close, isn't it? It's remarkably yeah. close considering yeah, how much changes in that last act. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because I remember, we didn't think if you know if we just change that character to a shield, it fits mm. remarkably well. And very, very little it actually had to change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you know, and, and the terrible event, of course. The but terrible that, that, event. That is uh, impetus. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine Tregenna was on this stage yesterday talking about uh, her story, um, the woman who lived, and how she had begun with this idea of a, a the immortal woman and was thinking her way through this as a sort of thought experiment about what it would be like to live in this condition. I wonder whether, Peter, you didn't go through something a little like that yourself, because once you've got this idea of there are Zygons mm. among us, mm. then that, you know, surely you were kind of speculating about how, what, what actually would happen if that were the case, if that were the world that we lived in. Yeah, well, I mean, I tried, I tried to... Uh, uh, yeah, I try to. I always try and think myself into kind of the reality of the characters, and I think the kind of closer you can get to um, to actually being true, to actually coming up with what you think would be a truthful uh, response from somebody who is as kind of complicated and fallible and real as we all are, um, then that's where you, where you come up with stuff which seems new and. Uh, um, and so I thought, I spent a lot of time thinking about what it might be like to be a Zygon, mm -hmm. uh, kind of repatriated and, and how they, I, I wrote a lot of kind of pages and pages of uh, scenes which I don't even think ever made it into a draft of uh, how they kind of, uh, how they arrived, what their, what their life was like, what happened to Bonnie, why she's called Bonnie. Um, and, uh, and 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 stuff like that. So, yeah. But I but I think that's how I work. I write I write my way into it and then throw ninety percent of it away. So you imagine.